French verbs in the conditional tense. Who is doing the verb? Which subject pronoun do I need? What do I need to do to create the stem for the verb? And what are the correct endings that need to be added? Our aims are to learn how to recognise regular and irregular conditional tense verbs, to learn how to form regular and irregular conditional tense verbs as well. What are conditional tense verbs? What do they mean? Conditional tense verbs describe an action that would happen in the future if, for example, something else were to happen as well. Examples in English are I would run and I would hide if a bear was chasing me. The first great thing about the conditional tense is that the endings are always the same. It is only the stem that changes on occasions. The second great thing is that the endings are exactly the same as the imperfect tense. Think of this useful analogy. Verbs are verbs are not like flowers in the conditional tense. That's not what we've seen before. Okay, let's have a look at why. Verbs are like building blocks because they look to the future in the conditional tense. As a result, you add endings to infinitives. Think of it as building to the future, or in the case of the conditional tense, how things would be in the future. There is also a magic letter. Ooh. All endings should come directly after the magic R in every case. That magic R is why we do a little bit of chopping when we remove the E from the RE infinitives. Here we see the three we've seen in the past. Regarder, finir, répondre. We see the familiar chop, 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 but it's only the E that disappears, leaving us with our three stems. Step one, choose the correct subject pronoun. This is the person doing the verb. Remember in French we have je, tu, il, elle, on, nous, vous and il and elle. Remember that magic R is why we do a little bit of chopping when we remove the E from the RE infinitives. This is how we create the stem remember. With our three infinitives chop 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 the E disappears leaving us with the magic R to put our endings onto. Step 3 is to add the correct ending to make the conditional tense. The great thing is that the endings are exactly the same as the imperfect tense. AIS, AIS, AIT, IONS, IEZ, AIENT. Now you'll see a demonstration of how to apply this knowledge in some examples. When creating verbs yourself, you can either use a paper dictionary or an online dictionary like wordreference.com. That's the one we'll use for this example. Okay, on the left here we can see the aide mémoire for the French conditional tense. The subject plus the stem plus the ending. Let's look at number one. I would work. First we need the word I, which we know is je. Then we need the verb work. Now we have to be careful here because obviously we type in work and look for a definition. It gives us the noun, as in good work. If we keep scrolling down, eventually we'll see the verb, the transitive verb, which is to work. For example, to work shifts or to work days and nights would be travailler. This is the verb we're going to use for this example. Je travaille. Now, for je, we can see here that we add the AIS ending and it gives us I would work. There we go. Next one, she would like. First we need the subject pronoun, elle. Then we need the verb to like. Now let's see what we get when we look this up. Now, in the same manner as a preposition, no, remember we want the verb. So let's keep looking. Here we go. Uh, the transitive verb, Emmy. Let's see. That's the one we like, isn't it? Good. Emmy. Now, because it's she would like, we need to use the correct ending for elle, which is A-I-T. Elle aimerait. They would live. So this is going to be il ou elle. Then we're going to need the verb to live. As we can see here, transitive verb, vivre, as in conduct life, or we probably want the one which is the person to live. So vivre or habiter. In this situation, we're going to use habiter. So, infinitive. As the magic R is already there, all we need to do is add the ending, which we can see is A-I-E-N-T. 
Next, you singular would choose. Remember, there's two ways of saying you, and we're going to use two. Next, we need the verb to choose. And as you can see, it gives us the past participle is chosen, and chooses into select is choisir, which is the one we're going to use. So, to choisir, and then we just look across, and we add our ending, AIS. Last one, I would lose, je, and now we need the infinitive for lose. And the infinitive for lose, as in to mislay, not to have any longer, is perdre. So, we add our ending, AIS. Ah! It doesn't like that. Now let's look at why. Ah, the magic car. There we go. Je perdrai. I would lose. Okay, as you can see, there's no red because it's recognizing the language is French and it says there are no mistakes there. Brilliant. Let's carry on. Look at the following examples and conjugate verbs by following the patterns. Remember those three important steps. You need the subject pronoun, you need the stem, and you need the ending. Pause the video to complete each task before carrying on. And remember, practice makes perfect. Regardez. Je regarderai. Tu regarderai. Il, elle regarderai. Nous regarderions. Vous regarderiez. Il, elle regarderai. So, copy this verb down and then do three of the other verbs following exactly the same pattern as regarder. Here we see the verb finir. To finish. Je finirai. I would finish. Tu finirai. You would finish. Il, elle finirait. He or she would finish. Nous finirions. We would finish. Vous finiriez. You, plural, would finish. Il, elle finirait. They would finish. Notice how the first, second, third, and then the sixth all sound the same with that A sound at the end. Copy this verb down and then follow the patterns for three other verbs in the list on the right hand side. Répondre to answer or respond. Je répondrai, tu répondrai, il, elle répondrai, nous répondrions, vous répondrez, il, elle répondrai. Notice how endings 1, 2, 3 and 6 sound the same. Copy down the verb répondre and then conjugate three of these other verbs following exactly the same pattern as répondre. Here we see the aide mémoire for the French conditional tense again. This is the I would form. As you see, we have the subject pronoun, then we have the stem and the ending, with a reminder underneath as to what we need to do to create the stem. Now translate these verbs into French, remembering the important steps. Pause the video, complete the activity and then mark your work. If you get it wrong, correct your answer so you learn from your mistake. For example, numéro un, I would copy. Je copierai. Okay, pause it and see how you get on with the others. Numéro 2. She would travel. Elle voyagerait. Numéro 3. They would punish. Il punirait. Numéro 4. We would lose. Nous perdrions. Numéro 5. You would succeed. Tu réussirais. Notice how it's you singular would succeed. Numéro 6. He would wear. Il porterait. Notice how each time the magic R is kept before the ending is added. Now in French we're always going to come across the irregular verbs. And there are some very important irregular verbs that need to be considered. Can you guess which ones? They are the usual suspects, être, avoir, faire and aller. The good news is that the endings are still the same, so no need to worry too much. Once you know the stems, you just need to apply all your wonderful knowledge to those stems. Être, the stem is S-E-R. Avoir, the stem is A-U-R. Faire, the stem is F-E-R. Aller, the stem is I-R. Plus these other common verbs as well. To have to, as in must, devoir, is D-E-V-R. To be able to, as in can, pouvoir, is P-O-U-R-R. -R. And to know, savoir, is S-A-U-R. There are others as well, but these are some of the most common ones and some of the most useful as well. Write down these irregular stems first before you carry on because they'll help you with the last activity. But only look at them if you need to because you may be able to remember them. 
Now translate these verbs into French, remembering all the important steps and the fact that these are all irregular. Pause the video, complete the activity and then mark your work. And remember, if you get it wrong to correct your answer, so you learn from your mistake. Numéro 1. I would go. J'irai. Numéro 2. He would do or make. Il ferait. Numéro 3. We would be able to. Nous pourrions. Numéro 4. You plural would have to. Vous devriez. Numéro 5. I would be. Je serai. Numéro 6. They would have. Il ou elles auraient. Notice how you do pronounce the S with the L because the next word begins with a vowel. Okay, today we've looked at French verbs in the conditional tense. We've looked at who is doing the verb, which subject pronoun we need, and what we need to do to create the stem for the verb. Also, we've looked at all the correct endings that need to be added. Our aims were to learn how to recognise regular and irregular conditional tense verbs and to learn how to form regular and irregular conditional tense verbs. Très bien. Au revoir.